hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm here to share with you some lessons i learned from the lesson three that is the power of the exalted jesus and the lesson was based on ephesians 1 verse 19 and 20 which reads through the holy spirit believers may know what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places and so paul knowing that the people of ephesus will be tempted to look back into their culture traditions those deities and their power and then fantasize about them paul thought of what bringing their minds on the power of jesus christ by exalting jesus christ to them one of the lessons i learned from the sabbath schools lesson three is that when paul got the news that the people are still in their faith and they are thriving he thanked god he gave thanks to god meaning in every aspect of our lives we should thank god when people choose to do the right thing we should be happy for them and thank god and also you continue to pray for them by asking god to, to strengthen them in his prayer, he reminded them of the power of Christ. He reminded them that all of us find our being in Christ. He reminded them that through the Holy Spirit, Christ can more strengthen them and he's able to do abundantly whatever they even would think of. He also prayed and asked for the Holy Spirit for them to give them insight. One, the lesson here is that when they have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gives them insight, all the magics around them, all the powers of the deities around them will not attract them. Things of the world will not attract them because they will see that these things are nothing and they will rely more on Christ. And so as Christians, praying for the unction of the Holy Spirit is very important that all the time we ask for the Holy Spirit and we ask that he gives us discernment or insights. Praying for insight for them will help them know and understand the inheritance they have in Christ and then trust him the more. And so when we come to understand that we have something great in Christ, the things of this world will not interest us. Another lesson is that Paul also prayed that or wished that they would participate in the resurrection power of Christ. Now, the lesson here is that it is through the resurrection of Jesus Christ that you and I, we have hope that when we die one day, we will resurrect in Christ. It is through the resurrection of Christ that when our loved ones die, even though it hurts, it pains, we cry and all that, but we still have the belief that one day they will resurrect. It's also through the resurrection of Jesus Christ that you and I have hope that Christ will, what, will return again and come and take us. And so Paul praying that they will it's, they will partake in the resurrection power of Christ. It's also a way of reminding them of who Christ is, the power of Christ. Now, when Jesus Christ resurrected and gave power to the apostles, they were not afraid. Things of the world did not attract them. They were bold. They were able to preach the word. They were, they were able to let go of their weaknesses and then work for Christ. And so participating in the uh, resurrection power of Christ it also means that we allow this power to overtake us so that we become bold. Let's go of our weaknesses and then understand that Christ is in heaven. He has the power. So we are not supposed well to fear or let things of this world weigh us down. Another lesson here is also the power of Christ, which is above every other power. While Paul was praying for them, also reminding them that they do not fight against flesh and blood. But they are fighting against principalities and all these deities, witches and evil powers. He also reminds them that the power of Christ or Christ is power is above all these deities. And so while they are in Ephesus and they see their deities, Diana and all those small gods and idol worshippers and the magics around them, they should not forget that the power of Christ is above all these powers and so if we are in christ we are not supposed to be afraid we need to know that the christ we trust in his power is above all these powers and so all that you and i need to do is to just trust him rely on him and we are saved in exalting jesus christ paul made them understand that 
everything has been put under the feet of Christ. I mean everything, including whatever you are thinking of or including whatever that bothers you, put fears in you and makes you anxious. They are all under the feet of Christ. Paul was letting them know that all these evil powers, they are not above God. Christ is above all of them and all other things are under his feet. And so when we believe that, we need not to fear. We need not to worry. If we come to understand that we worship God who has everything under his feet, we will be at peace. So in all, the lesson is teaching us that just as Paul exalted Christ in prayer to these people, it's the same way as Christians. Wherever we find ourselves, we need to exalt the name of Christ. We need to let people know that Christ is powerful and he's above every other thing and every other thing is under his feet. We can do that by praising God, by our character, our attitude towards others and by speaking the word also to people. Thanks for being part of today's discussion. You can also leave some lessons you learned there in the comment section so that I will also learn for you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.